They're dangerous. There are real Muslim extremists in our country. a bunch of wimps, and they had to be gotten in line to understand the threat. Oh, is that why you always overthrow countries and put the radical Muslims in power? Because you don't want secular first world nations that could compete with your power? Whatever. The world's a tough place. You got to be tough to beat the evil. Yeah, you got to become the evil to fight the evil. One time I was going fishing with some buddies down where their boat is, and it was down where there's a bunch of yachts on Lake Travis. And that's where one of these guys in the restaurant where we're eating hamburgers walks over and later I saw him getting on his you know, probably one of the biggest yachts on Lake Travis, probably a you know, $3 million, nothing big boat. And he just walked over and told me that. And I recognized him off TV from somewhere. I, I, I didn't get his card, but he was just there telling me, you know what, we did that because we needed to. You know, I mean, I mean, these guys are just, you know, they sit around drinking their whiskey. Yeah, you ought to get the, got to, got to break a few eggs around here. Lazy Americans need to learn how to fight them Arabs. It's not about fighting Arabs so you can steal money and do whatever you want. You big fat cats that are having the feds federalize all the water to take over. It's all you guys that are raping everybody financially. You're a bunch of scum. Just stop saying you're pro-America. I mean, I mean, it's sick enough what you do. It's sick enough what you do. But then to say you did it for America... I mean, that's really disgusting. You put fluoride in our water for America? You shoot our kids up with cancer-filled injections because you love America? Look, I said I knew his blitz, and I'm out of control. All right, here it goes. I'm just going to cover news. A lot of this already hit, but just the stacks are all here. This is the stuff you never hear. And so I'm just going to read through it. Some of it I've covered, most of it I hadn't. On terrorist watch list, but allowed to buy guns. That's the New York Times saying, ban everybody being able to buy guns without judge or jury, whenever the government feels like it. <clears throat> DOD training manual describes protest as low-level terrorism. Steve Watson, Infowars.net, links to uh, AP, ACLU. Uh, it says anybody protesting, it's illegal, it's terrorism. Virginia State... Police say anti-New World Order and gun rights activists are terrorists. They say protesting for pro-Second Amendment, you are a terrorist. Go ahead and take them in. Says they're dangerous. Here's another one. Virginia State Police designate anti-New World Order opinion as domestic terrorism. BBC is, these will all be out of order, but there's no way to go through it all. BBC is backing election riots, claims Iran. And then did you guys ever print for me where BBC admits they stage fake photos? Throw that up on screen for folks. Show them the fake. Let's just admit it. BBC. Oh, it was a mistake. <laughs> but actually, those people that were shot were shot by the uh, CIA. Or you know. Oh, we're sorry. That was actually Ahmed Dinajid supporters. We said with the other guys. Uh, BBC is backing election riots. Claims Iran. Iran continues hostility towards Western media, threatening harsher actions if interference in countries' affairs continues. They've launched their fighter jets. They got their ships patrolling, ready for war. The West is saying they're getting ready to hit. Protesters gather in Iran's capital despite stern warning. And again, they legitimately are dupes. Just like the Muslims that attacked Mohammed Mosaddegh when the CIA blew up their mosque and said the government had done it and that Mosaddegh was going after the Muslims because he was trying to keep them from taking over society, the radical ones, the CIA-funded ones. They had been Hitler-funded. And so they used the Muslims to overthrow them that time, and now they're going to use the young punk rock youth to overthrow the mullahs. It's just unbelievable. Protesters gather in Iran's capital despite stern warning. Um, now, you're not hearing a lot about this, because every day this is happening. London Telegraph, tens of thousands of Chinese fight the police in Shish, Shish Ho. I'm pronouncing that right. And it says, after the police running the drugs in the town have been murdering a bunch of people that expose government drug dealing and how government... Uh, party members own all the hotels and businesses, and everybody's sick of them ruling. Uh, it says uh, tens of thousands took to the streets, attacking police. Police, just just total hysteria. It was a dramatic weekend in the relatively small city of Shishho in Hubei province. Tens of thousands of rioters torched a hotel and overturned police cars after the authorities allegedly tried to cover up the murder of a 24-year-old man and other dead bodies. And then it just goes, so, so they're not telling you about that. I mean, it, it, it's barely a blur, and the cops are shooting people but still getting defeated. 
I mean, China's on the verge of collapsing because of their corruption. And people are sick of the mullahs. Clearly in Iran, they end up owning the state-run things and making money, and they're all getting filthy rich, and their kids are decadent, and the mullahs' kids beat people up and stuff, and, you know, just classic stuff. You know, I mean, in the U.S., you talk bad about Bush's daughters, you get mailed anthrax, so, you know, it's the same thing everywhere. It's like messing with, you know, Hitler's cousin or something. You're going to end up in big trouble. That's how this works. I mean, you know, it's like all these boss hog cops whose kids can do whatever they want in small towns. And, then, you know, they can go up, beat you up if they want, and then you end up finally fighting back the boss hog's kid, and then boss hog has you killed. That's how it works in Texas, in Arkansas, and everywhere else, in Louisiana, Mississippi. So uh, it's the same everywhere. It's just tyranny. It's just government. It's just thieves. Thieves in government. Kentucky hate crime report mentions Constitution Party. And again, we have Missouri TV, Kentucky TV. Let's go ahead and play that clip right now, just a few minutes of it, off Missouri TV. And, and, and notice how they make us apologize, Constitution Party people. And I supported the Constitution Party after Ron Paul dropped out because he was losing, after he lost the nomination. Chuck Baldwin, audit the Federal Reserve, get us out of the U.N., no taxation without representation, property rights, you know, founding father type stuff. And they say in there, you're a terrorist. And they got the ADL on tape saying, yeah, these are dangerous people. And then the Constitution Party like going, we're not bad. We're, you know, why aren't we blaming a government that starts demonizing groups and starts saying, we're going to ban your guns without an arrest or a warrant or without telling you why you can't own guns? Or if you've got bad credit, you'll be on a no-fly, no-buy list. And I mean, you know, this is total tyranny. Why isn't it about how the ADL's been caught breaking into the apartments of anti-apartheid protesters? They work with the South Africans in race-specific bioweapons and spying on the American people illegally and being a Mossad front. Or why don't they talk about, you know, stuff like that? No, it, it's all about persecuting the American people and, and, and demonizing us saying no to the Federal Reserve takeover.